Okay, so for those who are married here, please enlighten us. What were the discussions you had on your first date, if you can remember? Those who are married here. We see some married men in the back. We see some married men on the right-hand side. So, <laughs> everyone is shying away. So let me repeat. On the first date, if you are to remember, what was the discussion you had on the first date to your spouse or to anyone you dated in the past? So we can see what the pattern is. Go ahead, since you have the mic. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to say a few things. The rice is going to be a secret in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, uh, the first time, I mean, the, our first date, I reached, you know, still remember. Um, we asked each, each other about how, what do we, just, how, what, what do we see ourselves in like five years to come? You know, like uh, what states you want to live in? How many kids do you want to leave? I mean, you want to have, right? And... Uh, you know, what is your goal and all that stuff. And also, we asked each other at the credit score also. And, all, and last, last, we also talked about sex because that is very, very important also and finance in the future. And so, yeah. Guys, this is on the first date, okay? Who else here is married that has the experience of what they ask their spouse on the first date? You know? <laughs> So uh, Pastor David said here, if you guys didn't hear him because he has such a baritone voice, he said that he's married too, but he does not remember what he asked his wife um, on, <laughs> on the first date. <laughs> he said he doesn't remember what, what he talked about. Okay, so if you were to give, so as a married man, again, we're going from singleness to courtship to marriage and you know dating so as a married man or woman here or, you know what let's just go to the married woman here what did your husband or past boyfriend whoever whatever you remember what was the question or what was the discussion you guys had when you were on the first date does anyone here remember we have a few married women here i'm making eye contact make it back make it back Okay, yes, mom. Yes, she remembers. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. The first day I met my husband already, I know what he do for a living. Okay. Because he's a naval officer. Okay. There's no need asking that again. He asked me what I do for a living. I told him. Then I asked him, hope you don't have somebody because i don't want problem in my life boom so if you have somebody forget it all right thank you yeah so it's very important you ask them because uh, a lot of comedians do skits like this that the woman is always asking a guy okay you're here toasting me hope you don't have someone who's start looking for me later on meaning hope you don't have someone that's already in your life that's claiming you that will pour acid on me for you <laughs> you know, so let's just be mindful of that. And anyone else remember the conversation they had during when they first dated? It could be first date or second date. Okay, so the pattern here is basically when you're still single and you're dating or you're on your first date, it could be your future spouse or not because you're never going to know. It's always ask questions because you yourself, you should know what you're looking for. So if you know what you're looking for, you, you know what to ask them. You know, you're not going to leave the first date clueless. Why would you want to leave the first date clueless? Because if you leave the first date clueless, please let me know if this, if this is right or wrong. You are going to go with assumptions. You're only going to have butterflies. You, you're only going to catch feelings with the unknown. Who wants to catch feelings with the unknown? Okay, so we have Sylvia who raised her hand for something. I can see everything. I have four eyes here. I see everything. Go so ahead. I was just going to say that, um, yeah, it's good to have con conversations. You ask questions. Um, however, the best method is just observations. Because okay. um, they could lie uh -huh. on the first date, you know? So, you know, asking questions, yeah, very important. But just 
be normal, you know? Have fun. I mean, you already, like, of course, put it out there that you, this, you have intentions of being married. It's not a play thing. But be normal, you know? Be free. And, you know, in conversations and things, you learn this and you learn that. And throughout um, future dates, you can cross-check. You know, you said this before. You know, things like that. Hold on, hold the mic. So, she just mentioned something that, um, what was it again? You said something about, not observation, about the attention to wed or to be married. Are you saying that that is an appropriate conversation to have on the first date? Wouldn't that chase that person away? But what if the person is for you, but their mind is not there at the moment, like they're only just trying to get to know you because they don't know you and they can't have the intention of getting married to you. It may be the intention of getting married going into the date. Yes, Sister Alberta. But hold on, sorry. I wanted to ask you because you were quiet here. What was said to you during your first date? Do you, <laughs> do you remember? She laughs. Um, so... <laughs> You know, again, it's, it's not a question thing. It, it was like a normal, you know, conversation. Of course, we already knew each other. Okay. We were going to church already, so it was pretty um, easygoing. Um, but I just, I do remember he did ask me um, if I cook, you know. Okay. okay. <laughs> and what do I cook and things like that. It's not, he says, it's not him. <laughs> Also, did what? Okay, so question about the number of children. Is that appropriate for the first date as well? Question about the number of children you are hoping to have together with your future spouse. Is that an appropriate discussion or topic on the first date? Thank you. Has to be green. Green is go. Red is stop. Okay. Yeah, praise God. I said, um, it depends on the flow. You know, sometimes we shouldn't be mechanical about certain things. You know, we should just um, flow. Um, on my first date with my wife. Is she here? <laughs> by the grace of God. Oh, she's not here. <laughs> <laughs> she's at home. Okay. So, I mean, I think we were heading to the movies and we got on a cab. And um, on our way, I just told her, you're going to be my wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she, if you guys didn't hear her lie, she said, what audacity. Mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> and I'm sure she thought I was crazy, you know, because that just came out. I, it was something I was sure about, but I didn't know if... I mean, how she would feel about mm -hmm. you're going on a first date with someone, no much conversation, you know, and I'm just telling her, you are my wife, you know. Um, so I didn't know how she perceived it, but the rest is history. Now, about asking how many kids, we, yeah, we talked about that, but not on the first date. Like, okay. you know, we have to keep on flowing, keep on talking. So things would certainly, you know, come out, how many kids, you know, and I remember I told her I want two. She said she wanted five. I was like, what, five? I don't want five, you know? Oh, no <laughs> you know, and then we, 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 we're not agreed. Okay, let's stay in the middle. Three, you know. Like, these conversations are something you should ask in a very cool, Man, relaxed yeah, manner. Yeah. I mean, when you're on a first date with a guy and you're asking him how many kids, like, I'll be scared. I mean, if you ask me my credit score on the first date, I'll be scared. In I'll Nigeria, scared. did you have credit score? I mean, okay, if you ask me... Um, how much I earn, mm -hmm. where I work, uh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Um, but here, credit score. If, I mean, I may, I may feel tensed on the first date if you ask me. I believe let us flow. I mean, except if something brings up that topic. Mm. But out of the blues, you're asking my credit score, you know, I will feel a bit, a little bit, you, you get. But, I mean, we can flow and progress into certain conversations, you know. So, so let's, I mean, I, I don't believe in being mechanical about things. Like, let's just flow, 
naturally, you know. Okay, so real quick, if you guys were on the first date and you see the person you're having a date with bring out from their bag a list of questions, what would you do? <laughs> it's an interview. Yes, it's an interview for someone to get the part in your life. Is it not? <laughs> Sister Alberta, go ahead. For me, I don't have any issue. If men can ask as many questions as you want. Because that's my personality. I'll be cool with everything. But okay. for me, I don't think like there's every single thing that he might ask me. I might ask him because I would like to, I like to make men feel comfortable to a level like I can't freely come to you. I don't want to make you feel like, hey, you know what I mean? Do we have to do this now, 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 now? What's the scary part about? No. Respect the person and treat the person the way it's supposed to be treated. You know what I mean? And let's, as uh, Don't Be Way said, let it flow. And little by little, you'll be surprised how much you learn. But when you put so much out of there, now you make the person kind of feel like, what's going on? Why is she interested in this? And some people, they're like really, uh, really, um, how do you call that? You know, like when they, you ask them certain question, they feel like uncomfortable. Yeah. So not everybody is freely uh, observe, um, to, be, uh, to be able to answer your question. Says, you know what I mean? I love her. I don't care if she asks me this or that. I'll, I'll be freely to answer her. No, some men, believe me, you need to be careful because they're really sensitive about certain things. Some men, like, believe me, you want to know how much money they make, it's an issue. Some men don't even want you to know anything. I'm telling you, that's how secretive a lot are. And I've been, I've been there before, and I'm, te I'm telling you from experience. So these are the kind of men you have to let them trust you to a level to understand, hey, now you don't even need to ask. They actually tell you personally. Okay. So that's, that's okay with me, like, I don't mind. Ask me as many questions as you find, find by me. I will answer everything. But for me, I have to know, like, that's the reason why when mommy says it's always good to have the leading of God. Because when God leads you, believe me, even in the first that you already know, this is the person for you. Don't even waste your time. Like, try to figure it out. Like, you know, this, 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 this. You know, from the beginning, God will tell you this is the person. Even from the first question out of your mouth, you don't even have to worry. Even if he answers or not. You already know, hey, you know, I'm cool because I know who's leading me. It's God who leads me. He's the spirit who tell me this is the person for me. It's okay. I respect that. I know God will constantly walk into him, you know, and daily. And we, you'll find out easy. Things will flow. Okay. He'll, he'll be like, wow, definitely. Thank yes. you. Thank Thanks you. for watching. If you were blessed by the video you just watched, then smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the notification bell for more exciting contents from Reality Meeting.